Alright, ready and go. Hello, Vlogimeers. Today we're going. No, hold on. Let me. Let me discuss it. Let's show. Okay, and go. Hello, Vlogimeers. Today we're going to unbox Break In. And oh, review. Hello, Vlogimeers. Today we're going to unbox and review Break In Alcatraz. To escape, you must first break in. So this is an escape room game, and we have done several escape room games before, oh, in the past. So this is an escape room game, and we have done some in the past, both physical escape rooms and game escape. And, and board games. Okay. And board games? Okay. So this is an escape room game. We have done some of these in the past, both physical escape rooms and escape room board games. So, what's one of the series okay. that we enjoy are? Some of the series that we've been... Two. Okay. Or a couple of the series. Uh, and two. stop scratching. It's making a sound. All right, and go. Two of the escape room series that we've, that we've played. That we enjoy? That, okay. Two of the escape room series that we enjoy are Unlock and Exit. So this seems to be a new series called Break In, and it's by the company Play Monster. It okay. seems like it's a mission at the bottom, the new ones. Or we can get to it later. The new shisha is in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or we can get to that when you read it. And I also mentioned the shape. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mention the shape and then look at the front. I know, I know, I know. All right, all right. And go. Continue. So I'm going to just read the outside of the box. This is for ages 10 and up. Your time is two hours and the difficulty is two out of four. You can play this with one to six players. So I know that the age is for 10 and up, which means that brother is a little bit under the age, the suggested age. Yeah. So I know the age is for 10 and up, which means brother is a little under the suggested age, but someone like him might be able to participate in it because this is a cooperative game and plus, brothers had some experiences with escape rooms in the past. And uh, I'm going to go to the back now. So, you are the outside man breaking into Alcatraz to help a few of your buddies escape this inescapable pr prison. Throughout this, throughout this collaborative experience, you must work together to follow a series of clues and solve puzzles to unfold multiple layers of the game and move deeper into the prison to find your friends. You'll encounter many obstacles and characters along the way. Good luck. The night of June 11, 1962 marks the only successful breakout from Alcatraz. No one has ever figured out how these men made their way off the island, but no one ever knew their secret. There was an outside man. It's the day of the big breakout. The boys inside need your help and they're going to succeed. You need to break into this inescapable prison known as the Rock. You know it's insane. You'll be walking into a fortress with armed guards, cells made of hardened steel, steel, sorry, and be surrounded by the unforgivable waters that have made the escape impossible so far. All right, and that is the description. So, um, oh. all right, so that's the description. And on the back, you can see there's some other games in this break-in series. So there's break-in Chichen Itza, which is like the Mayan temples. And then there's break-in Area 51. Okay, one last thing before I open this box, it's real quick, is I noticed that this is probably the first game I've seen where the shape of the box is a hexagon. It has six sides, and that's very unique. Uh, you know, it's taped. <laughs> I, I, I cut it already. The tape. Shit. Oh, okay. No, there's multiple tapes. Yeah, oh. I cut them all, I think. Was that missing? Uh, yeah, you missed oh, yeah, one. Yeah, you missed one. Oh. Here. No, two, two. of them. Oh, here. Here, this one and... Okay. And then the one over there. Okay. Oh, I cut them all. Okay. Okay. This is... Uh, whoa. 
it's heavy. This is because the stuff is on top. <laughs> How does it get on top? Oh, that's so it's heavy. glued. It's glued. That's no, so it's cool. stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's taped. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it says stop. Do not continue until your whole group is present. I'm reading this. Okay, so we don't look inside this box. Important, do not open the box until you are directed to do so. Welcome to Break In Alcatraz. You are about to begin a challenging adventure. The night of June 11, 1960. Oh, I already read this. Okay. And then there's a thing here. It says number one. It might be an envelope or something. Now to break in games or need some oh, new to break in games or need some help getting started read the other side of this card so oh then this is a stack of cards and then did they say to open this no they said not to open it do not open the box until you you are directed to do so is this the box yeah oh so we can't open it then correct all right, so unfortunately, I'm not able to show you what's inside of this box without giving spoilers to you guys and without spoiling it to myself. So that means that all we can see right now is what's on the outside here and what's on the top. What's on the top of the lid? This is so crazy. It's like, it's just over here. Okay. Chichen Iza is three out of four difficulty, and Area 51 is still three out of four difficulty. So that means uh, there is a game yet that I know that's three, I mean, four out of four difficulty. <laughs> okay, so now to, uh, so we're gonna play the game. Uh, well, and then, I can see through it. And come back. Whoa, yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, without, without spoilers, right? No, um, I'm gonna pause it and go. So once again, unfortunately, that's all we can show you right now. Uh, so we're going to play the game and we'll come back with our review. We'll do our best to not give any spoilers. Try our best. Yeah, I wonder how we can try our best. And now... Actually, this might not be helpful. All right. So oh, use this. the back. No, use the back. <laughs> I mean the front. And go. And we're back. So here's our review for Break In Alcatraz. Brother, what did you like about the game? I like all the virtual hands. No, hold on. First you do a general thing uh, and then... Wait, so what? What's when? the general thing? Oh, you like the... Oh, okay. The... Yeah, well, that's my favorite thing. Oh, okay, alright. Wait, so what's my favorite thing? Uh, and go. And we're back. Here's our review for Breaking Alcatraz. So, my favorite thing about this game was probably how you break into the box. That's what made this escape room unique. Because after you solve a puzzle, you just open up another compartment where there's another compartment inside until you break into the whole entire thing. Well, there were more than one puzzle in each layer. Oh, yeah, that's true. Except and brother, what was your favorite thing? The hands-on activities, like the, oh yeah, the, the camera thing. Yeah, that was fine. Yeah. The hands-on puzzle? Okay. With the, yeah. My favorite part was the hands-on puzzles, like the ball in the, and the chain and the rack. Building the raft. Building the raft? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, and the ball and the chain. That, that was that was cool. I mean, that usually escape rooms don't have those kinds of puzzles, but I guess that's another thing that made this escape room unique. Now, there were some things that we didn't like about this game, such as... Noli! Hi! I Stop putting your leg up. Fine. Now, there were some things that we didn't quite like about the game, such as, like, some of the puzzles were kind of vague, so we had to keep using hints over and over. So, I feel like the puzzles could be a bit more clear. And then also, it took us, like, 30 minutes 
at the start of the game to finally figure out what we were supposed to do. So like the beginning was kind of unclear to us and it was just a struggle to get started. But overall, and to wrap it up, I think it's okay. pretty interesting. All right. We look forward to the and that should be it. But overall, but overall, when we did know how to do the puzzles, they were actually pretty good. And uh, I feel like there's some room for improvement in this game. In the series? Oh, in the series. Okay. Or no, either way. But overall, most of the puzzles that we could do were pretty good. And I feel like there is some room for improvement in this series. Uh, again, the thing about this series that makes it unique is how you break into the box. So this is a good escape room that you should check out. And we look forward to the future games from this series, Break In. Wait, hold on, I'll do that again. And go. I'll just redo the third sound. Sure, okay. But overall, for most of the puzzles that, wait, for about half of the puzzles. But overall, for about half of the puzzles that we were able to solve, they were actually not bad. And again, the thing that makes this game unique is that you break into the box. Uh, wait, hold up. No, I'll do that again. But of the half of the puzzles that we were able to solve, they were actually not bad. And I do feel like there's some room for improvement in this series. Uh, again, the thing that makes this series unique is that with every puzzle you solve, you get closer to breaking into the box. And uh, we look forward to the next, wait, and we look forward to the games, the next games so, in the series. Uh, how, do you want to say you literally break in to the box? Okay, yeah. And then um, and we look forward to the next one in the series, which is, it's just, okay. it's just a unit, not in. Nope. And again, the unique thing about this series is that you literally break into the box with each puzzle that you solve. So uh, we do look forward to the next few games in the series because hopefully they'll be a bit better. Bye bye. Uh, uh,